What's up YouTube? I am here today going out and doing some testing for a couple of fishing buddies of mine. You can check out their channel. They're called the Sprads and you can check out their channel down below. It'll be in the description. The link to their channel will be in the description. But they sent me a few lures that they want me to use for them. They were able to create one and had a couple ideas for me to try at one of my uh, fishing locations. This right here is what we have. We're going to try this little Ned rig. This is a sweet little jig head Ned rig that they have. The other thing, kind of customized jig that they've crafted. Nice little skirt, small, small profile. Uh, it's time of year, small profile is actually doing really good, so we're going to do that. And the last thing that they were able to find, I don't know exactly where they got it, but we're, they wanted me to see if I could use that tiny popper, just to give you an idea, I'm gonna put my finger next to it. That's how little that popper is. So I'm going to uh, ease down the road down here and I have about an hour and we're gonna see if uh, how many I can catch in an hour. Any species, any size, just the quantity it matters right, to you. Guys, I'm here at Glass Bridge. It's not the best conditions sun there's no, hardly no clouds in the sky sun is hot water is choppy so this will be a good test to see if these lures really hold up to what i did however bring a couple of my uh, bass rigs that lure i used last week to catch a couple of those and also the swim jig from my ltb which is looks amazing and i just really think it's going to catch fish so i wanted to bring it and i did bring it on my spinning reel so saying I'm giving up on the other lures or not. As far as their customized jig that they made, unbelievable. I didn't use it till the very end and for about 10 minutes and I caught three nice, nice sunfish, huge sunfish, honestly. Uh, green sunfish, excuse me, that's a huge green sunfish. It's really hot, I'm getting out of here. Like I said, I only had a lunch break, but a uh, big shout out to the Sprads. Like I said before, go check out their channel. They got a lot of, go a lot of cool things out there. Hey guys, day number two, water is calm. It looks great. The clarity is high. I mean, it's, I can see four or five foot down in the water. Crows are checking me out. Let me see if I can switch this around real quick and let you see. He's sitting here checking me out. I'm parked in not really a parking spot. And if the park ranger comes up, he's gonna say something to me, but I'll just move. Say, and I am here, pick back up on the challenge, the Sprads laid out for me. He got three rigs. I did make some modifications to the rigs 
just a little to make their presentation a little better. If I don't do good now, I got one other spot I'm gonna try. I am back at Glass Bridge, but the water is super calm. So I'm hoping the popper's gonna work better today. As long as these crows, uh, he's really weird. He's like itching his, he was itching his head with his, with his beak open. Looks like he's trying to throw up. Dude, crows are weird. Cr crows are just, they're weird and I don't know about y'all, but crows are smart and which makes me think that they're creepy. <laughs> So anyway, I am gonna bass fish a little while today. I have a, a little bit of time. I, it's gonna be fun, it's fishing, it's time to go. Good little bass. And, oh yeah, they saw that hit the water, man. They, so I'm gonna try to cast out a little further away. Oh, gee, something smashed it. Oh, whoa. And I yanked that joker clear out of nowhere. Let's try this again. Holy crap, guys. There's a huge bass right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up, stand in the shadow. I'm gonna throw, throw this shaky head and his paddle tail. Hopefully it's gonna swim like that and swim in front of him. I'm gonna throw way past him and swim in front of him and maybe, just maybe, I can get him to hit. I'm using the, my loose spinning reel. Oh, no, 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 no. He just took off, dang it. All right, guys, uh, I don't know if y'all caught him in my other videos, but uh, where I caught that chain picker, I'm gonna go check that out and see if there's any bass bass there. See if, any, see if there's any bass biting in the heat of the day. Hold on, let's see what we got. Dude, I got the wrong shoes on for this adventure but i rode over the bridge so i could park facing the way i wanted to go and it is looking right son shout out to leo for that one all right let's see if i can get down here without getting bit or hooked it's got some shade boom i picked the right place this water is actually deep so shade deep water hopefully i can get away from the snakes we can do some fishing yes i do normally bring this many poles that's my buddy mike all right this is perfect exactly what i was looking for let me make myself safe check things out real quick dodge the mud holes and i hope there's no snakes underneath this thing this thing has such great action in it i'm going to start off try to see if i can just stir up something with like they're feeding on shad this little creek's really produced for me before well obviously with me and mike but i'm also talking about a different bass fishing before to explain this i don't know if y'all can see this but that bank over there actually drops off and the water was low. We were actually standing two or three foot higher up. It actually is, this is, it's got a little deep pocket in the center. Now, I was walking all in there, so obviously that's not gonna be a good place to, I could go underneath the bridge, but I prefer not, cause right off that edge there, it's deep. This used to be a mock that looks like a, I did, I, I definitely wore the wrong shoes for this. But when me and Mike were out here fishing, we, we noticed it was, I don't know, like a meal or something. But guys, I didn't get my camera on in time, but if you'll see all the swirls out there, something just stirred up every bait fish. I'm gonna keep throwing this because it looks, about like the size of chad that i just seen jump if i don't get a bite on it in a minute i'm gonna flip over to the chatterbait maybe draw something in oh god did y'all see him y'all see him in front of me that made me jump i ain't ever seen it come on come on them some big boys i don't know what they are but they were massive oh i just got to thinking i'm on my spin reel yeah look at him look at him chad Look at him chat in front of me. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna slow crank this because I don't want it to get hung up on bottom. Because I just got it out of my mystery tackle. Ooh. Oh! I got it! Uh. Yes! Dude, that bait ball, baby. That bait ball. Oh man! Oh gosh, what a little bitty one. Stirring up that bait. He went after something a lot big, bigger than what he should have had. All right, hold on. Let's see here, big boy. Let's get you unhooked, because you have hooked by it.
As you can see, the water kind of got chopped back up again. The breeze is actually blowing down through here into this little creek. If I'd have had a, a John boat or something like that, then I probably could have eased and kept following the shad down and or the wind's actually pushing them into there and the bass are forcing them in and trapping them in the sloughs. That's why we were getting the blow ups and stuff over here. I only got to snag one of the small ones. I didn't change my bait quick enough or I didn't have the right thing to be right away. I don't know. That's it for me today. I'm gonna go pick my son up and let's go take him to football practice. I'll tell you what though, if everything goes to plan, I will be filming Saturday from our boat as we go and try to do some fishing first thing in the morning. That's it for me today. Keep your hooks wet and have fun. It's the West Point Willie telling you I'm out.